Residents of the Sycamus Creek Mobile Home Park remain on evacuation alert. The regional district issued the alert earlier this week over concerns of debris flows and mudslides caused by damage done to the surrounding hills in last year's wildfires. I'm aware of how the ground has changed and we don't have the trees to hold that kind of thing back anymore. And you know, having to make sure my kids are all set up, I'm all set up, my wife's all set up, um, and my wife works out of town. So it, it is kind of nerve wracking sometimes. Uh, very nervous, yeah, I used to sit on pins and needles. We have, we have an RV, we moved that over to my daughter's yesterday and uh, just so it's out of harm's way. And uh, so we have at least a place to go to if it happens at three o'clock in the morning. And uh, so we're, yeah, everybody sits on edge. Yeah, it's nerve wracking. While some residents are preparing for the worst, others think that the whole thing is being overblown. The, somebody hit a panic button for no reason hmm. and scared a lot of elderly people in the park mm -hmm. for no reason, as far as I'm concerned. The root system and everything up there is, it'll be years before that rots out and flows. It, maybe in uh, five or six years or something like that, and you keep watching it, monitoring the creek or what's up top, if mm -hmm. there's any movement. Well, we're ready to go, but... I'm not really concerned about it that much. I don't think it's that big a deal. I, It would have to rain quite a bit more, I think, before anything happened here. Most of the fire is on the south side of us here, and it's oh, not a lot of that comes as runoff over here. It's all running off over there. So I don't see it being a real big problem. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hatchew in Sycamus.